Every wanker that's able to, can you include your audio, please? Muchas gracias, senorita. Well, obviously. That's why I said if you're able to. That's like the key word there. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'll have a team, mate. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Have the two cousins on the same team. Taylor family versus everyone else. <sighs> oh, dear. Anyway, uh, yeah. <sighs> you fucking shit me. Why? What for? They probably don't want us Taylor boys to be fucking slapping everyone up. Oh, here comes Lucas Aid. I don't know. Okay, so what we'll do quickly here is we'll go through the entire lobby list and make a, re a note of any sex offenders that are in here. So, Ranzi, nope. Pete, nope. Phoenix, nope. Gangster, nope. Despair, nope. Paperstream, nope. Matty, nope. Joe, nope. <laughs> nope. Allied Squire, nope. Who the fuck Red Stars, nope. Uh, Bradford, nope. Richard, nope. I know for a 125 million percent fact that I'm definitely not a sex offender, so I'm clear. Uh, LucasAid, nope. Ah! Sex offender! Cole, nope. SRL streamer, nope. That is all. Thank you, yeah? <laughs> oh man well that was uh, relatively entertaining what I just did there <laughs> I knew that there was one sex offender in here the whole time it's just I wanted to take the absolute piss because well why wouldn't you Well then. No one else is going, I'm going to fucking Red Bull. It's a racing point. Pile of shit. Andrew, you like Kimmy Raikkonen or some shit? <laughs> yes. Sweet.
Ninjas isn't in the lobby, is he? No. J just don't pay attention to the gif I just put, Andrew. Just ignore it. Um... Why does that smell like the whiff of, um, how do I put it politely? Oh yeah, incest. No, I'm going around. I would have sure. went Williams, but oh well. Oh no! I've just got the perfect fucking meme for this. Please tell me this is the one. No, no, that's definitely not the one. We don't want Dick Tyson. Oh, kinky. <laughs> oh, dear. I do love how Coldest immediately knows what meme I'm on about when I say Dick Tyson. I don't want the one where I'm roommates with Alex Pistorius. That's the one I need. Right. I'm that one cunt is wanting to get it. Nice. <laughs> or as Boris Johnson would say, very nice. <laughs> Alright, first time doing a league race since Broccoli gave me his setup for this shit track. Oh yeah, Dan gave my setup for this track as well. I remember that. Is it? Is this the? Is this the part where Dan actually? Is this the part where no, Dan, Dan reveals that no, he you gave didn't you give me your like setup? You gave me your wings, and I setups. had. And you gave me your wings, and that was it. And then I had to have, click higher on the rear. So technically, it was your setup with slight adjustments. To my preference. <laughs> Dan, is this the part where you then reveal that you basically gave me and Cole two very different setups? <sighs> no, no, oh, no, I'm taking the piss, obviously. Uh, Dan, can I read out the setup just to make... Well, read out the wings just to make sure it's right. <sighs> I know that's what I'm saying. Yeah, we're waiting for the these last-gen peasants at the moment. I'm surprised that turn my music off. So I can actually hear you lot. Yeah, that would be actually a good idea, Cole. Like, why didn't you think of that before? Like, wow. Uh, let's just turn it down, because I'm not going out on track. <sighs> what, are you, like, planning to, like, start at the back or something, Cole? Or... Probably. Oh. Yeah, Dan, you'll qualify near the front and then Cole will still somehow find a way to catch you and beat you. Have dry race all throughout, so that's good shit right, right there. Uh, if I got this set up. Dan, is your wings 2-6? Alright, cool. That's good, because mine aren't. <laughs> uh, maybe. Maybe not. I'm tempted just to start PL. I want to start PL11 on hard. Uh, let's. All I'm um, saying is my front wing is stayed at two. The rear wing has done wonders. <laughs> it's T7.
with a little bit of magic on the ride height as well. Uh, see what I did to my Belgium setup. <laughs> it, it, it's fucking rapid though. Is this the part where he says that he's done what all those TT sweats do at Monza where they put the front ride height at like fucking nine and then the rear ride height at like two? No, it's it's no, it's not it's not quite that bad. It's 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 four one ride height, but I'll love. Are you fucking retarded, Cole? Going for one ride height? It works. How much crack have you been sniffing? And to be fair, Cole, I've also been getting. Your dealer is because, like, why, why risk your life going to some dodgy guy in an alleyway to get your crack when you could just buy it nice and safely from me? Or just get her crack and then just spread it. That means two things. To spread that it. Also means See, two things. That's the point. That's exactly both where I was those, going with both it. Both those sentences meant, meant two things. Is any cunt out on track yet? Fuck me, it's so dark. I need to turn my game audio up. This cause... week, on Too Late to Look, apparently there's uh, like six cars out on track. I don't know why I was trying to count the dots there when it tells you in the bottom right hand corner, but we'll just we'll gloss over that. You're a fucking retard. It's a, it's a shame I'm not vision from the Avengers movies because then I could literally just say, well, I was born yesterday. <laughs> uh, is it illegal to use the wrong tires in this session? In this? Yes, it is. Fuck. Never mind. Is then. this the part where Cole reveals that he is on the wrong tyres? No. I, I, no. Uh, la, la, hold on. No, I'm not on the news. Hold on. Just whatever you do, don't check race director. That now, of course, means that I have to check race director. <laughs> There we go, that's better. That's the right tire compound there. And they're quite moist outside. Giggity, giggity, giggity. Ah, fuck, I'm going on track. Yep. Oh no. Anyway, moving on. Why did you pick it then? I swear you wish you. Oh. Now you I know how I felt throughout can't the entire lie, Dan, I would have had to took the William Dan. for you. I would have lived took the Williams for you. But, yeah, never mind. I'm currently driving one-handed, so Andrew, you're going to have to get past me here. Yeah, 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 I know what I'm doing. It's just I couldn't pass you there because of the fact that you were blocking the pit exit. And besides, I've been more worried about people coming up behind just now on a fucking flyer. Why do you think I've just cut the shit out and, and, like, now I can just cruise whilst I'm trying to message people? <laughs> You trying to message? Uh, our, our girl. Is she like at least twenty-one or over? No, she's same age as me. Ah, oh, okay, never mind. Well, is that the youngest you go for now? Is twenty-one? I mean, now I'd probably go for like twenty-three, maybe twenty-four, but. Well, I just thought I'd play it on the safe side and say 21 because it was the highest number that came to my head first. Oh <laughs> shit, I'm in neutral. <laughs> Fuck. I wasn't paying attention. Because unlike JD, I ain't a complete and utter fucking sex pest. Don't want to try for the merc behind you. There's a merc behind me. It was behind Dan, but yeah. Oh, 
this week on Too Late to Look. Your mum gets herpes. Your dad shacks a prostitute. Damn, that's hot. I'm doing the sandbag of all sandbags, just to let you know. Oh no. Like this lap I'm doing right now. So I think he wants to show off and start last and charge through the field. No, not last. I'm going through into the next section. I know the game's lying there when it says our purple set to one. Oh my god, the spare's not lagging. Oh my god. <laughs> All I'll say is it sounds like Joe may have met his match. Sam. You know what's bad is, is when I uh, did that 100% race last Thursday, I was the first person to beat him in like 11 races as he was on a fucking 10 race win streak until then. Oh yeah, I've seen that tweet. That's the part where I go like not even in the top 10. I just... Okay, I, 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 need, I need to have more faith in myself then if that's what's going to happen. I just say, I've been going that fast that I've done a lap and my tires are still shiny. That's how preserved these tires were. You know what's bad though is I could probably go at least three tenths quicker than that just at the middle set to chicane alone. Because I missed the fucking turning point like that for that like a fucking whore. fucking gang time there and I wasn't A I fucked it up still and B I was also in lean and no mixture there fucking hell that shows how much time I've just pissed away single handedly at that chicane alone oh, I'm actually should be enough to get actually go those that's all that matters I'm actually goaded on the dicks I'm slower than paper stream Five should be safe for Q2. Oh my god, I'm 16 seconds off and going purple. Not like this, like it's an actual push lap or anything. I need to get out the way here. Oh, I can actually do a lot there. Right, let's go. Hello. <laughs> back me on that if you see if he's on board. I went a little sideways.
Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, we are, yeah. No. Uh, no. French. France. Uh, SRL. Uh, it'll be Apollo. That was so scuffed through the first sector. Andrew, did you see? Yeah, I did. There's an easy like two tents through there. Middle sector. I'm not sure that I'm not sure if they were happy about Cole getting invited or something because they basically asked me when I, I opened my Discord this morning and I had like about five DMs asking if it was me that invited Cole, which point I just said no because well it wasn't, was it? So <laughs> I'm just kind of cruising. There's, def <laughs> There's definitely at least another fucking uh, half a second in my lap because I'd missed the fucking apexes of the middle set to chicane like on both parts of it like a fucking whore. I just asked, when was Darren quicker than Joe? Uh, Joe, I have heard rumours saying that apparently in Q1 of every league race he ever does, he runs lean and no ERS. Right. I mean, that's what I said, but apparently that's what he does. I'm just, I'm just saying what I've been told, man. Don't shoot the messenger. Yeah, it, it was it was either that that that's what he does, or he just likes to slowly build himself it. up. What, you mean like that? Well, you're the ones that said that they locked it so that they, you couldn't send invites, so I just proved you wrong. To the fucking Discord, you dip up. That's the owner, but yeah, that well, works as well, I guess. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I know he's an admin and all that, but I'm not sure how well those two get on at the moment because of the whole fucking split up between uh, the SV that happened, the actual team and all that. Because basically Apollo wanted to start up a second team in the way that Red Bull have two teams in real life, and and then and then basically uh, I don't know. And then basically Ramsey wasn't happy or something that they set two teams up, so like they sort of like split and that was that. I don't know. Yeah, it's in the lobby. Like but you'll see it on my stream, you'll see his game tag on my stream, mate, so you know. Yeah, I lost over a tenth and a half to you, Dan. In the first sector. Uh, you... Yeah, you lost around three times in the last. Uh, dude, I know I've already pissed away just half a second in one corner alone just off the top of my head. I probably could find more time elsewhere on the track as well, but... I can't think of anywhere else that was shit on that specific run. so fucking hot now. I swear I turned my heating off. <sighs> do, 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 do. 
Yeah, I did turn my fucking heating off, so why is it fucking, like, sweating like a fucking, like, Jamaican in the Amazon rainforest? Ugh, oh, I better get another drink. I swear I'm gonna start overflowing with Pepsi the amount I've drank today, man, fuck me. He's in their Xbox <laughs> dashboards. Who can I hear? I'm not on the dashboard, what are you on about? Okay. Okay, I probably should have thrown that in the bin, like, when I had that. Instead of just leaving it lying on the side like that. But oh well. Basically the gravy that I had for my KFC has got all this white stuff all over the top of it all of a sudden. What? Yeah. Well, I had the KFC on Friday, so you do the maths. Such a donut. I thought I've been a donut, that's just gross. <laughs> no, what the issue was there was as I basically overdid the KFC because I ate so much that my stomach felt like it was about to collapse in on itself like a neutron star. And then I went to the toilet for about an hour and then went to bed and completely forgot that the gravy was there until just now. I am the, I am the most forgetful person on earth. Like, can you imagine how many fucking kids I'd have if I was a fucking girl man with how forgetful I am? Fucking hell, that would be just awful. Probably would be best if I was a girl just to go and get my fucking tubes tied, because then at least I wouldn't have to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't lie, I'm so amazed. So basically, it's just gonna lap. waste a load of tires. I'm amazed my lap putting it that high up because it was awful. I was sliding across sector one, and I was just hitting it. I was hitting and hoping through the middle sector from where it broke. Yeah, same here. That's my first lap on the game today, so... Oh my god! Who's that? Gangsters... I think that's Gangsters AI, just fucking pat... Oh wait, no. It was Despair's AI, just powered right into the back of someone. Uh, I think it was Darren. Just waiting for Paper Shim to retire. I bet you I lost all the time in the fucking first sector, I bet you. Yeah, it comes down 21.9 first. I was quicker than him in the middle. Oh, fuck me, he's mental fast through the last as well, to be fair. Bambo, my friend, uh, check your Discord DMs. I think I put in. Grandpa face still in the party. I put in 12 kilos of fuel because I wanted to do a couple of sighting laps to see where it break, so I don't fucking blow up. I'm gonna go get a refill of my drink and then I'll be back. I just sent Rambo something that might be able to get him in, but... 
No, no, I know you can't race to them, but like that should be able to get you in the server at least. Not good shit. Because I still had an active invite from Ramsey, so... In the same way that that's how I basically kept getting back into the uh, uh, AMS uh, server when I got booted, because basically Dan had left an active invitation open in my DMs. <laughs> So it's just wasted a set of softs for nothing then. Lovely. Well done, you donut. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, that was kind of funny when I kept rejoining the AMS server because all I was doing was to rejoin in to ask why I'd been removed because no one had told me anything a bit until about two days later. But I just wanted to know what the fuck had happened. I hope he are my fucking tits when they get sent flying. <laughs> oh, well, fucking get in there, Chloe, man. Honestly, fucking get in there. Nice. You're just gonna fucking slap her up and ruin her fucking Wait, title that's fucking. Whoa. Jeez. I'm absolutely fucking big brain in my fucking quality. Did I what last night? No, I enjoyed the night before. Yeah. A general conversation when you got about fucking and shagging each other and fucking. Andrew, nice Apex. I know, it was absolutely fucking shite. Don't cut the corner, you fucking dip dumb. It looked like you cut it, it for it. a second. It looked like you did. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I it, rather weirdly didn't give me any warnings for it though, so. I should point out, by the way, Cod, that I've got like 70 odd laps of fuel on board. I can't see why you, like, religiously do that nowadays. Like, me and Dan started doing it for shits and gills, and I used to do it religiously. But Dan's doing it as well just now. I don't think he's put that much fuel in. Maybe not, but like, I, I just want... Yeah, but I just want to make extra sure that I will actually beat the fucking lap time. Uh, see if you just press the... the set see down. if you just press the left trigger in. From the last corner up to the line. And you set like a 1 minute 30, you should be alright. One minute thirty, mate. Mate, I fucking struggle to do fucking one minute twi- Mate, I fucking struggle to set one fucking uh, thirty not no, not one thirty nines. But I fucking struggle to fucking set one minute twenty nines around here. What are you on about? So you're saying if I can do a twenty seven, you can't even do a twenty nine. Not that much. Mate, slower. did you see my fucking lap time in Q one? How in the cunting fuck if you have how do you have a how do you have a purple sector one? I shit you not, your your first oh, sector's mate. purple. Oh mate, did you not see my fucking uh, Q1 lap, mate? I did a fucking 29.4. That just shows how shit I am at fucking quali. 
we all know that I struggle even more in quality men on mediums than what I do on any other fucking Can I just time, say, so. I'm hoping to get knocked out to P11 in this session. That's what I'm aiming for. Are you gonna Are you gonna try and be a smart ass and do what JD did in that fucking League Basin video he did? Can't remember mm, what Basin was, but you nah, get the point. Not a clue where where No, no, but... No, what... That's what what hard. he did was, is he, he looked... He looked at the he looked at the delta on uh, on his fucking uh, screen there uh, before going out to set his lap to see what P11 was, and then basically as he got to the line, he then just lifted off to try and hit it bang on so that it would be P11. Did he? Uh, he sort of overdid it a little bit and went like P13 or something, but yeah. that's not too bad. But so looking at like that when I tried a few weeks back, where I did it so much that I ended up in like fucking P20 or something. <laughs> I say P, yeah, it would have been P20, yeah, because it was short quality. So yeah, that makes sense. I'm gonna go out on mediums and do a lap and then back off at the end just in case I fuck it up and end up going through to the top ten. So I don't know what kind of fucking lap times these cunts are going to be doing. I'll tell you, Mercedes must be the most pissed off team in the world at the moment, though. Because, like, two years in a row, they've been, they had their asses slapped up by an Italian team at a track where Mercedes have up until 2019, and then again, back starting from 2020 onwards, have had the most amount of horsepower. And then basically they get, they get slapped up in 2019, so they wanted to fucking just slam dunk it in 2020 when uh, Ferrari's engines got nerfed. And then they get fucking slapped up by an Alpha Tauri instead. <laughs> With a Honda engine. <laughs> well, so Mercedes must be the most pissed off folk in the world at the moment because of that. Because every year they go to Monza with one fucking objective, fucking destroy Ferrari. <laughs> Mate, they're slow getting them out on the track, they're slow getting them back in the game. They're slow they're on slow the track. They, yeah, and they, uh, that's what I was about to say, Cole. They're also slow when they are on the track. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that could be their new title sponsor, Williams Slow Racing. They're like fucking go karts, I swear. Them. No, no, maybe James Mason sponsored them, so it says uh, Mr. Slowly on the engine cover. I'm <laughs> genuinely not. I'm, I'm absolutely cuffed on what fucking lap time to aim for. They go P11. Uh, well, it's a bit hard because you don't exactly have a relative uh, representative delta to follow at the moment, do you? So yeah. It looks like a 132 at the moment. What, for P11? Are you mad, yeah. blood? Shit you not. Do a 31, I'm, P <laughs> I'm like P12. I could do that on Inters. Oh my de- If it weren't against the rules for you to do that, I would actually dare you to go out and do that time on Inters. I I'm not even would. joking. What's the penalty? Hold on, let me check uh, the rule book. Yeah, go and check the rule book. You've got seven minutes. No, six minutes even. If it's a DSQ or that- If it's just a warning is the first time if I'll do it. If it's just a quality ban or something, I'd fucking do it. Uh... Discord rules would be in there. No. Uh, yeah, the racing rules, wouldn't it? Race reports, announcements. Uh, Perfect stream show. Fuck! No, I don't know where it is. Is it pinned in just the general chat? No, it's not. I have no idea, mate. Announcements, pins. Uh, that's the normal website. Let's click on that. Would there be anything see... in the race reports for like previous instances where folk have done that? Person except home. Uh, we can go on Forza if you want. Cole, the reason I went and did that wheelie build there is because I saw some fucking idiot in 
and I, I didn't actually see what car it was. All I know is it had a look like um, either a Chevrolet Bel Air or a, uh, one of those fucking like mid-50 fucking Chevrolets that they used to do back then. The guy had a game attack that said something about Mopar or something, so I'm wondering if that might be related to it. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was some sort of like, you know, classic fucking Chevrolet, I know that much. Um it looked about the same size as a Bel Air, if that helps. I, I honestly don't... Apparently it's a 10 second time penalty. 10 second penalty if you do media uh, enters, yeah? Yeah. Tyler, you're seconds. cool, mate. Ah, that's fucking shit that is. Um, I wanted to go through on oh, my Like, what I do know, uh, Rambo, is it was about the same size as a Bel Air. So, like, hopefully that helps you with uh, guessing the size of the car. Genuinely? Fuck me, if I go for a 31 1, I'll have it. Oh my god. This is actually painful. Alright, if I go for a 31, if I go for a low 31, I'll be fine. Oh my god. something because the front end's way too responsive. Dan, can you tell me the time of the P11 running? That's all I need to be. I need to do a 31... I need to do a 31.5. Okay, so what's that mean? Uh, what is the delta between mediums and softs here? Oops. Man? Oops. What's wrong? I've just invalidated this and next. Oh. Dan, do you want to see a spectacular crash? Right, where am I going to do it? Probably spent more than 10 seconds off of the track limits, because that is a thing now. Because remember when that France TT glitch happened a couple of game cycles ago? I can't, I think it was the 2018 game was when it happened, Dan, when there was that glitch where you could set, like, sub... All right, Dan, you ready? ...by going off the track for the whole lap. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, Dan, remember when there was that TT glitch where you could basically do sub one minute by going off the track for the whole lap? Yeah, they fixed that by A, wiping out all the leaderboards, and then B, putting a thing in the game, so that if you go off the track limits for more than 10 seconds, it just invalidates this and next. And if you do it in the race, slam 10 second penalty. Yeah. 
So basically, if you spin off at a track like this, you really want to fucking basically get back on the track as quickly as possible. Otherwise, you are getting a 10 second penalty. And I think it only takes like three of those if you don't have any other penalties to get then DSQ'd. So. <laughs> Apart from Brad. If... I've made it through. So that I is, think uh, I surprising. might have impeded Brad, by the way. Um. I thought I won't be able to check to see what the delta is between soft and mediums here. Uh, I was wanting to see, because like, I went four tenths off of my uh, Q1 time with the medium, so I was just curious as to what the actual uh, line difference is between fresh, soft, and fresh medium here, but there's no way I could check now because I've used up my only fresh set of uh, mediums, so I can't compare it to a fresh set of softs, which is annoying. Damn, was it a good crash? That's the main question. Was it a good crash? Well, we'll find out in a sec, because if people talk about it in the uh, server, then we know it was a good crash. Joe's uh, already says 10 out of 10. Oh my god. Did Ramsey actually just do that? I think he just improved. I swear his delta just went green. Oh wait, no. Okay. It was bloody close. Oh wait, no it wasn't. Well that's not went to plan. Who's this AMS Rambo weirdo that just joined the SVOR server? <laughs> you racing, Matt? Okay, so because they removed my roles in the PRL server, it no longer auto bots out uh, the fact that I've gone live on there anymore. Oh no. They removed my administrator roles because of fucking Charlie yesterday. Sorry Dan, I thought you were already aware of this, but um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they removed my administrator roles, mate. Uh, let's have a look, Ski. Okay, so fresh mediums are 1.1 uh, slower than so fresh softs, and yet somehow on my medium run I was within four tenths of it, so yeah. Oh, I muted her because uh, I think it was one of the co-owners that wasn't Sarah said that if she kicks off, then just mute her. So she started in what I perceived to be kicking off, but uh, I was then told that apparently she hadn't kicked off in the way that they meant, so I shouldn't have done it, apparently. So, And then basically what then happened was as Charlie started uh, sending me a load of abuse in DMs, and then I was just literally about to apologise because I misinterpreted uh, the, the exact definition of kicking off from what I was told and then she messaged me going I want an apology right now sort of thing at which point I then just decided to go well fuck you then I'm not going to fucking apologise if you're going to fucking demand apologies like that you know so yeah so no, no, what's been happening, Rambo, is, is that since uh, Goku started shagging this Charlie uh, person, um, no, no, I know, but you know, you know what I mean. Uh, since they started going with each other, um, basically, Goku and Charlie have basically been uh, tr basically trying to find the smallest thing to try and get me booted from PRL for, because uh, Goku doesn't like the fact that I'm competitive this season. It's 
so um yeah so because of that yeah um yeah, as I said, because basically what ended up happening is the server terminated the AMS partnership with uh, PRL and then started another one up with uh, with DRT. And what ended up happening with that was is that basically um, no 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 oh, no basically Jesus then, no no ba ba that that was a bit extreme that was a bit extreme. No, what then ended up happening was is that basically Goku has been using that to uh, try and uh, like you know, push people around and get them to do what he fucking wants and shit. And of course, Sarah's not fucking having it. So whenever I say something that, um, I have a habit of... Smell your my bum. No, no, no. But you know, you know how I have a habit of... <laughs> you know how I have a habit of just saying stuff that is, <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, well, basically, basically, Goku doesn't like this, and because he's now banging that Charlie person... Whoa! Uh, the, the, yeah, Some it, guy. It's, it's, a, it's a person that is becoming, going from being a man to being a woman. No, they're a guy. Um, Full stop, they're a guy. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> I'm trying to be politically correct about it, because I'm... Politically correct? If you got that Charlie person to look down, they've got a dick. They're a man. They sound like a man. They've got the voice of a man. They've got a cock of a man. They're a man. We move. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. That's a downgrade. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, well, yeah, let just now got first hours. Nice. But yeah, basically what happened is, is that basically because Goku and Charlie uh, have it in for me for reasons that I still don't understand because I've been nothing but nice to them too and basically any, any small thing that I say or do they go immediately crying to Sarah about it trying to get Sarah to uh, either kick me or make me suck her clit or something I don't know I don't know I don't know what they're I don't know what they're wanting me to do but yeah Basically, basically, that basically them two are just being a bunch of snowflakes because they can't handle the fact that I just say shit as it is. Ha! Gay! Have we? Let's see. Let's have a look, skis. Oh. I thought, like, it was changed. No, man. I thought it was the Queen Bitch thing was changed to something else, a little more inappropriate. Well, she was still younger than you, Dan, so... <laughs> uh, fair enough. Apparently our purple set to three, although I suspect that, that might be bullshit. Apparently our purple set to three, although I suspect that, that might be bullshit. Just a little bit. Same. Oh, laptop, I didn't even see it. Twenty-eight seven. So I'm only a tenth up on my fucking Q2 time on mediums there, so that's, um, that's not good. What I will say though is that it's a bit suspicious that Joe is now basically disconnected twice in two consecutive races. I've done against him in Q3. I'm wondering if he's basically doing it on purpose to get the fresh tyres cold, is basically what I'm saying there. <laughs> Need to pull a lap out my arse, sir. Because, um, basically I forgot to pull it out and as a result my lap time is kind of shit. 
Because it's a safe place to keep it for when you need it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's it's like that scene in Ted 2 where basically that woman manages No 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 let me finish. Like th there's the scene in Ted 2 where this woman is actually able to smuggle in a switchblade into a fucking court when Ted is having his uh, civil rights trial. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly where she kept it. I'm not even going to lie. That is legitimately where she fucking kept it. <laughs> oh, apparently, according to the screen here, Cole, I actually do legitimately hold purple set to three. What? Got knocked out, so what you're on about. It's not like he could do anything even if he wanted to. Is she actually done that legitimately? Yeah, I'm in the garage, Cole, and it says purple on my screen. For is, it, three. is it actually purple? Like, isn't it? Yeah, the number is legitimately purple. Damn, what the fuck have you let happen? Well, we've got to do that real quick and get pulled by about half a second, ten second done. So do I. It's called the Hoonigan RS200, downgraded into S1 glass. Or it's a Toyota Sleeker. An RS1, really? Oh, an RS4. Yeah. If the forecast is looking as sun, uh, if the for if the race is going to be as sunny as what the forecast says it is, is what I meant uh, for the race, then uh, the chances are it's probably going to be a, a more favourable idea to do a two stop. No, because that's way slower. No, I, I, I know that, but like the last time I did an extremely hot league race in France, the two stop was legitimately quicker. Go for it. The time where it was just fucking ridiculous. Just don't I mean, put on the same lap as I, me. Then no, that's fine. I, I know. I don't know no, what I'm saying, Carlos. I don't know yet. I'm just saying. I wonder if it will be like that. It might not necessarily. If it's not, then I'll definitely do the one stop. But if the fucking tire wear is ridiculous, like it was in WOR, then I might have to consider a two stop. So. All right, go on, Dan. Go get Paul. So did I, someone know if I either decided to actually try and go for top 10? Dan, cool your tires down, fuck me. Well, not on the fucking dial on my end, they're not. They're, they're over 100 on my end. Oh, okay, I'll just, just I could cool them down a little bit and then go for it.
Seven thousand soft pole with another purple set to three. What? Go on, Dan. Go on, Dan. And he's it? done it. Just oh, by just less than a second. Oh fuck. Oh, what now? I've dropped to P5. What? I improved by two tenths, going from like fucking P5 up to fucking P2, and then just immediately back down to fucking P5. Honestly, go fuck yourself. Well, that would be because Dan and Joe hadn't set a lap, and then Darren actually pulled a lap out of his arse. Yeah, but I was still P5 even before they'd set their laps, until I fucking went P2 at least. Uh, to be fair, my lap was like a wank because I was literally down on my PB until the start of set to three. Yeah. Andrew, you do, still, you do, you do realise you were up on your time the whole lap. You finished. You do realise you're... Do you go look your race director then. Mate, mate, every, like, when I was doing my actual lap, the delta was red. Literally until I came out of the middle set to chicane, that's when it only started going green. Well, go look at your go look at your race director. Yeah, that doesn't tell the full story. That just says that I no, it improved does. at the time I crossed the line. It exactly. So you're up and through the yeah, sections. But but no, because my yes. the fucking set. So no, works. because shut up and let me finish. Because basically, I was only up when I crossed the sector split. Most of those sectors, I was still in the red until I got to the actual split itself. So therefore, technically, I've lost more time than what I've gained. Yeah. I might have actually been down, basically. Well, I mean, you say that, but there's been times on TT where I've gone up and improved a lap by like five thousandths of a second as I go to cross the finish line, and then all of a sudden it says that I failed to improve, yeah. even though I crossed the line when... I literally looked at his rest director. No, Every single no, sector was no, an but, improvement. No, no, no. But to be fair, if you actually watch the lap as an actual lap, you'll see that I missed literally every fucking apex there was in sector one. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I probably did improve the sectors, but as an actual, like, if if you actually, yeah, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying, because, like, if you were to watch the lap as a, like, an actual, like, visual sort of thing, I was basically missing sectors, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's just at the crucial moments where I crossed the set to splits, that's when I went green, basically. Let's go! You okay? Yeah, I'm happy now. Why? Yeah, because one, one of the girls that I was out with said she'd watch, uh, she's watching the race. <laughs> yeah. She's watching my stream more no, than No, she's fucking SCLR watching stream. that for sure. She doesn't want to fucking hear your retarded ass shouting. Yeah, well, she'll fucking hear your retarded ass shouting as well, mate. So what you on about? My retarded ass at least turns her on. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, to be fair, mate, I... To be fair, mate, I would be slightly worried if I was turning her on, because if she's only 16, then, like, that would be a little bit sus. So I'd be extremely concerned if I was turning her on. <laughs> and also, I can't imagine any 16-year-old getting, uh, like, sexually aroused by a fucking 27-year-old man that has a chest more hairy than the fucking Amazon rainforest.
No, you know, I'm basically saying that my chest is so hairy that you need hedge trimmers to get rid of it all. That's basically what I'm saying. It probably wouldn't it end well. It itself in half like a fucking retard. I probably would though, Cole. That's the best part. It'd be oh, next thing, man. fucking next thing. You know, he's on fucking live leak, chopping himself up. Jesus. <laughs> Exactly, one oh of those God, fucked up things. The times I have seen those on fucking Twitter is unfucking real. Oh dear. I, I, I'm not even joking. Ooh, that's Twitter hot. system is fucked because I can't. Like, for example, <laughs> right? I can't just call, like, tag someone in a tweet and call them a cunt because I have been Twitter banned for that before. But there's plenty of sites out there where people are uploading videos of them um, causing themselves to have pleasure. Okay. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> I've seen a video where someone's head got chopped off with a chainsaw on there. <laughs> to be fair, I'm pretty sure uh, I ended up... Can we not speak that and sending it, it to all of you at one fucking point. image into my head. Andrew, you know that <laughs> video that, with the... Though? Andrew, you remember that video with the tree? <laughs> oh, yes, that. That, that just popped into my head. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that's... Pain. How did cutting someone's head off with a chainsaw put that tree video in your head? <laughs> to be fair to Cole, when he showed me that tree video, he achieved the impossible and actually shocked me. <laughs> Well, that wouldn't shock me because that would be more like belief that he didn't touch kids. Because like you just got to think about all the I fucking used poor kids that got molested. Like talking in depth about Jimmy Savile all of a sudden. <laughs> like, are you obsessed with the boy or some shit? No, it's because we ended up. You see another one of those fucking pedos that got melted down into Lego pieces for kids to actually have a shot with. I do like how they just read it up while I was in the kitchen grabbing the drinky. Yeah, I... Yeah, well, I'd... I don't open Discord, man, when I'm racing. Chill. And I don't Chillax, dude. Either. Oh my god, I'm on the fucking hards, dude. That's fucking gnarly. Oh fuck, I'm the only cunt on the hards. Oh, that's not fun. And this will, this will be oh, the part no, where Freddy Joe boy now has a tire advantage because he left the lobby in quality. Boys, I'm on a rocket ship. I'm overtaking people. Yeah. I'm overtaking people though. Should I just, should I just go into the lead? Dan, can I come? Dan, can I come and say hi? Woo! I'm half spun. And and I need to show off now. Is this the part where I then just absolutely like just turn in and put him in the barrier just to make him look stupid in front of his girl? <laughs> it's not even my girl. It's just that girl that I'm like. Speaking to at the moment. A girl that you've been pumping, but not quite like in a fully committed relationship with. Right, got ya. Yeah, pretty much. Basically, friends with benefits. At the moment, yes. <laughs> Can't lie, those are the best relationships. Because, <laughs> one, you got your fun, Seven, and two, there's no not drama. Good time to start poking me, honestly, go. There's a time and a place for that stuff. Yeah, around the back of fucking Morrison's. Oh! 
know what I'm gonna do okay. at this point? I'm gonna hit this button called mute on my phone so that I don't get distracted by uh, <laughs> you know people poking me and stuff. Your mum for a starter. <laughs> Yeah, mate, that's She's a bit loose around the gooch, but apart no, no, from that, no, she's no, alright. Rambo, Rambo, your mum poking me, uh, like, just remind me, I, I have something that I've been meaning to tell you for, like, the best part of 16 years. I am your father. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't know how old you are, so I just, like, went a bit on the safer side of things, you know? Did you just assume my gender as well? I mean, I probably should have just assumed his gender. It would have saved a lot of trouble there as well. Fuck me, I've been mugged off the start. Mate, you're on hard tyres. What did you think was going to happen? That they'd just suddenly go, you know what, we're going to give you the grip of soft tyres for the first few laps. Honestly, would have loved it. I'm up to P10. Why? What for? Oh, fuck me, I'm up to P9! I'm just starting fucking 14. Let's go! What's start? Maybe those grip of the softs actually came in handy. Wait. <laughs> Fuck me, I'm getting butt fucked by cunt on softs. Full story, bro. Oh, by despair. Fuck me. No way, what? I'm clipping that because if I get a penalty, I can uh, remove one of the warnings. Boys, I'm up the fucking P7 after one fucking lap. I fuck yeah. Is that the amount of fucking time you've. No. I was going to say something about Millennium Sex Lit or some shit, but I just kind of fucking ran out of English. See? You thought I was going to be a cunt and mention Chloe, but I wasn't. I was going to be nice. Exactly! Well, we're not allowed to mention her anymore. No, I just felt like being nice and not bringing her up in that conversation. That's all. No, but you never used to mind us, like, taking the piss about that, so I don't, uh, that's why I was just curious. Oh. I mean... Why are you sent to pride? Darren's a bit of a dick, because bear in mind Darren used to be in AMS and he was a bit salty when he left AMS, because like, he started uh, being a cunt towards me, because last time I did an SVOR race again, well not the last time, but when we did SVOR Cota against him, he started like trying to ram me off at every opportunity, so I gave him the... So, so I basically gave oh, him the minutes, back a yeah. towards the pit wall. But yeah, that, that's basically what uh, Darren was doing at that point, Danny. He was just being such a cunt and trying to get past me, so uh, to try and allow Joe to catch up. That I then proceeded just to give him a Schumacher squeeze towards the pit wall at uh, SVOR Cota. And you've so. joined it one of the best times. I've had one of the best race starts of my life. I went from 14th... No, I've I've actually had no, a good start. I'm starting on hards at the back. Start. I went from 14th to 7th by one lap. I'm on the back of P6 and P5. Is this going to be a scenario like that race in Spain the other day where the hard tyre was just a better race tyre again? Or Probably. That? Hopefully. <laughs> I 
love that how Ben says that being ginger is an insult. Basically, you look like Donald Trump. No, but think about it. If you'd live in Ireland, yeah, you could be fucking rich because you're a little leprechaun. <laughs> Isn't that what the ginger people do? <laughs> That's a new one. New to me. No, I don't know many people that would do that. Apart from Matt, that is. <laughs> I mean, that's quite debatable. Uh, this, this, this is the part where I actually. This is the part where I actually have to be honest and say that I've never actually drank Iron Brew before. You're not Scottish. You're not Scottish if you've not drunk Iron Brew. No, but I did. I I I did lick the clip of the owner of Iron Brew behind Sainsbury's. To be honest, it wasn't that bad. I thought it was what it said. Was that um hmm, nice? Andrew, how are you only one point seconds ahead of me? I started fucking 14th. Because my tyres are going off way too fucking quickly at the moment. Okay, your medium tyres have went off in four laps. <laughs> now I'm just going to have to fucking hang out. Yeah, trolls are ginger. What do you expect? I don't feel that right in anything, Matt, uh, Ben. Are <laughs> you fucking what? <laughs> I've just took that so far out of context, it's actually unbelievable. Uh, of course you like riding shit, don't you? <laughs> oh damn, that, that's kind of hot, I can't lie. That makes it even worse to be fair. Man, trying to flash his arse about the gaff. It's fucking ten years old. Mad. That just makes it sound like a child molester. No, the fact that they fit you four years fucking later. Well, why would I want to know what a 10 year old ginger kid looks like? Wouldn't that just be torture? <laughs> I should have been shorter than 6 foot 3. Imagine should have been shorter than 6 foot 5. That's all of us, you fucking dimwit. Oh, apart from me. And Cole, I know what you're thinking, and I will do it on this uh, next DRS straight, okay? No. I'm just letting me pass, because he's my teammate. Lean mixture, I'm in just lean mate, lean, and that's yep, it. Yeah, thank you. Through. Yeah. <laughs> I need hope, mate.
Dan, I'm assuming you're making Darren burn all of his ERS just ahead of you, and then you're gonna blitz past him. I mean, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is this like one of those little quizzes you get when you're younger? Spot the difference. Chloe Palmer, or AM as Chloe. Spot the difference. <laughs> Can't lie, don't like those lap times from Joe. SRL, actually. No, because it's the first time we've raced in it. Matt's not actually racing in it either. Come on, Andrew, just stick with me. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying. Time. Are you shagging him? Same. Well, it's not shit, it's just he's like Vettel at the moment, just past his best. Yeah, can you see? Yeah, but you got to remember that Rossi's like, what, four, maybe even older than that? Well, that is quite... Yeah, that's quite old for, like, a racing driver, you know? Uh, this is where Dan proceeds to fuck off into the distance. Yeah, on a motorbike, you do need to have very quick reflexes and stuff in case something happens up ahead, where, obviously... Be that as well, yeah. And obviously, as you get like as you get past 40, when it comes to like motorsport, your fitness levels do start to drop around that age. It's not that they drop; it just becomes more difficult to obtain. Yeah. If you're talking about Marco Simicelli, then that wasn't really his fault, if memory serves me correctly. Well, I did not just hear that. I think you did. I really hope that wasn't on stream at the same time I do. Hashtag Rambo exposed. Go, go include your audio and set again. Oh, fucking <laughs> pussy, man. Cole, do you really think he's that stupid? Yes. I'm not dumb. I've included my audio now. No, what I did was I went into his party while he was streaming and played a load of orgasm sound effects. <laughs> oh, were you thinking of last night, your mum? Thank you. Well, try and drop, and you. drop Darren at your doors. Carl, I'm going to try and buy you an, uh, a protection for the undercut window here because obviously this car behind me is also on hard, so he could just try and undercut you. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. So I'll try and buy you some time, because obviously you'll need at least three seconds over him to be safe from the undercut. So look, I'm getting old. Oh, I fuck me, Ben, you're break. like... You're a few months older than me. Damn, that's tough. Dan, can you fuck off from Darren so I can get him, or can you back him up into me? Uh, who's Darren? Yeah. Not in a sexual way. <laughs> no, I need to get excited. Oh, you, oh, you, hey, why are you aiming at me? Because you're the one that tried to make it sexual, that's why. Ben did it first! You're the one choking on cock right now, Matt, so shush. 
Ah, oh, and someone's getting spanked. Yeah, and then I went, yeah, who's Darren? Fuck off. <laughs> the points did just hit me there, Cole, so he may have damage, but he may not have. Just keep doing what you're doing. a light bit of contact. You're doing good. Yep. All the bought you about half a second already, so... Can shove it up your arse. That's hot. And I gave a shit when. Hold on. Ben, let me finish this race and let me find out what I asked. Still couldn't find when the fuck I asked, to be fair. <laughs> oh shit, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking scared, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Comes back a year later, once I've retired from League Racing. <laughs> I know, that's why I said it, because it pisses so many people off. <laughs> Unless it's like an actual eSport driver, no one really cares. I'd be slightly disappointed, unless he like suddenly drops off the pace. Uh, that, that's a bit early, is it not? Lap 10? Oh, uh, okay. Neither. I don't see the point in eSports to be fair, for the viewer. It's for all the fast people going and winning. Oh yeah, Chloe that. submitted a time into it. <laughs> She's, the, Jarno Otmir trained this Dutch woman, and the Dutch woman is how many tenths off Chloe? Like half a second? Or something? Three, four tenths? Yes, <laughs> she submitted it yesterday. Which what, like genuinely? Yes, because like the Dutch girl that was trained by Jarno Otmeer is slower than her. Though. He's like the fastest on Xbox right now. <laughs> so... Oh, it's to like. Um, it's a fucking I game. Just, it, I think it's just like a publicity thing to try and say that they're going to get more women involved, it's sort of thing, more than anything. The girl. The... They're trying to encourage more women to get into it and give them more of a chance. But slow as fuck, clearly. That's the point. That's the point because they're too slow to do it in main esports and it wasn't diverse enough. <laughs> I mean, if, if Chloe's the fastest, God knows. Mm. Better than she was. I don't know if you knew what she was like, so probably doesn't happen. Andrew, do you plan on pitting any time soon? I'm buying you some time here, mate! Yeah, but you've got your own race as well, is mine. Yeah, don't worry about that, I can recover. I mean... She sure. goes on... Was it France, wasn't it? And she binned it on the first corner. She goes on about that, oh, that got pole, that got pole, and I was just like, because I remember... Mm, and your strategy was fucked anyway. That's like me celebrating France. going on pole against John Oatmeer when he's in the full wet when I'm on softs. That's the equivalent to that. Yeah, now she went, she's gone off in 2018, she was probably faster than she is at the start of this game cycle. But I think right now she's the fastest she ever has been. Can I say it? I'm better. Well, in 2019, I was actually glad I just didn't leave race, so...
<laughs> he's got a lot better. Yeah, he's it's because he's turned on traction control and he's been yeah, it... He's actually played the game on like you, Ben. No, because yeah. I don't use it, and I don't... Well, one, I don't... Oh! By the way, let Joe Sevens left the session, boys. Yeah, it was on my ass when it came into the pits. I'm not sure if maybe there was some contact or something, mate. Are you sure you're not just shit? <laughs> like, because to be fair, I've... I tried medium full traction traction. Um, medium medium traction is better with FTS. It says I'm coming out in fifth if I when I put. To be fair, the best the best with FTS be is ahead of me um, and automatic gears with so. no traction. That's ahead of that, Ari. Is what I'm saying. No, nice fresh mediums. Yes. Hopefully. I had it in F1 cars at Zone 4. What's up, Dan? Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, what tyres, guys, did Joe start on? Mediums. Mm. His AI's put them on another set of mediums. <laughs> on another set of mediums? Yes, A firm, A firm. Oh, shit. Well. That's the AI that did that, mate, I mm. think. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Ben's won a title when I have. Sam. Yeah, it says I'm coming out in third, so I'm just buying Darren. Oh, I could have had a championship if the whole of the ad He will be getting the no Dan in PRL, but you know, he's on fresh medium. It is what it is. What's that, Dan? It is. I, I was practically dominating the whole. Why do you think I'm trying to stretch Sarah these cards out? Boy, he's decided now nah, we need to let Smith win the fucking league. Hmm. What, what are they going to replace that with? Fucking... Rainbow Road. They can go and race at the Ebola Drone. Oh, God. They could have just better tracks. I would prefer Ross to get out of those two if they have to do a double header at one of those two. I wouldn't mind that. I just can't wait to see Zandvoort, to be fair. Why Zandvoort? Zandvoort's such a shit track. I just want to see them race, though. Just watching a car go around there is going to be Um, easy. Dan, I've just noticed how close Darren is to your ass. That's hot. Why am I not invited? Why are you hot? What the fuck? i just seen you pull that half a second... A half a second gap. What the fuck? That was crazy. You've only cut like three tenths to me in the last lap, so it's not too bad. Well, uh, what fucking league do I have? DCRL tier one, someone shooting me in the face. What track is it for DCRL? Is it USA? And the pit, oh. I must go. Oh. E -I -E -I -E -I -O. oh, yeah, I'm not racing. I'm not. I'm fucking putting an X on that shit. Do you think I'm pit stop boys? If you think shit. I'm racing tier one, right, with fucking nah, dream on. Shut up. I'd like to see you race tier one in that league. BCRL. Well then, just, just, get good. 
Nice one there, Cole. That's not me. I bought you a decent enough window. Oh, yeah, the no, window meant, works, the... yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I was meaning, like, the gap to, uh, yeah, Freddy Boy. Fucking Subaru bitch, yeah, I'm that fucking. I do one, two, three, four, five. Six or seven, actually, now. The, if you think I race every single one of them every week, you got another thing coming. I just decide which one I want to do each week, depending on what track there is. And then if there's one that I'm performing well in, I'll do every single race, even if I don't like it, to try and get championship. And if I lose out, I'll stop racing in it. I just got my first one in this race. Keep the RT2 on the video win next season. I fucking hate it when I get a warning, my first warning this late into the race though, because it then normally starts a fucking slip yeah, slope where I just end up getting like a fucking warning after warning after fucking warning. I think mine's is, you know, Mexico, so you have a track limit of wank on it. I think getting two warnings on lap one and then doing the next 35 laps without getting another warning was good. Um, on uh, getting no penalties, getting no penalties hey. to, to France or winning the race. That's my greatest achievement and it happened two weeks ago. Definitely was. I've got Joe on my ass. Do you want me to hold him up even though he's still got to pit again or just just do what you want. It's your race. Don't let us control your race. Yeah, I've caught three fucking seconds in this lap, you dickhead. Yeah, have that. Well, that's Crystal Palace. Nice. In, uh, and what? <laughs> Wait, let me let me hear that again. Where are you in the league? I don't even know because I don't keep up with the teams that are irrelevant. Yeah, and that's where the fans storm the stadium to get rid of them. Oh, tell me how I'm into it. Tell me as a fan, tell me as a working class fan how I get rid of the And then you get a guy in a tower block opposite said me and run with a sniper rifle and then you just aim the sight up and then pull the trigger, boom, problem sorted permanently. Yes, that's an Andrew way of so it. Tell me, realistically, something Andrew can't comprehend, how I'm meant to get rid of a chairman other than protesting. Um. <laughs> Yeah, if you put a dent in their pocket, then they've got to do something, so... Well, if we suspend... If we break into the stadium and suspend a game, that's also putting a dent in their pockets. Yep. Like, I have enough money to do that anyway. Well, the thing is, Liverpool... I saw a bunch of Liverpool fans... Yeah, but fans. every team that that happens to, I think they get a fucking compo out of that, really, don't they? Mm-hmm. We would have had to pay you. Our owners would have had to pay Liverpool. So, once again, putting it in it in their owners' pockets. So, you wouldn't have really, but you would have been able to invest back into the team anyway.
Don, I should be yeah. in DRS next lap. <laughs> now I have seven laps to shape it up. Well, the thing is with Liverpool, I saw, I think, a bunch of Liverpool fans going, oh, you're vandalising your stadium. When there was clear pictures when you go on Google of Liverpool fans vandalising Anfield. Saying, rest in peace Anfield and shit, and putting shit up outside the stadium. On the side of the stadium. Spray painting walls, etc., etc. But then, you tell me you he know, didn't go for a ridiculous move on me there. Liverpool I was fans already turned it in, and then suddenly it says that he spun out. Sounds like a big him issue. Is that why you said in 2019, if I wasn't a Crystal Palace fan, I'd support United? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. <laughs> You said those words, and I remember being in a party with you telling me those words. Wait, it's Freddy Boy dropped it somewhere along the line, because I just caught him up. <laughs> Firstly, I never heard about this. Secondly, he's a palace fan. Fuck, I missed that in the DRS by Titan. It's fuck. Right. Oh, raw. Sadly, I see that all too often these days when someone goes out for a revenge killing that they just end up accidentally killing the wrong person because of mistaken identity. But to oh, be fair, most okay. football... I'm not a die-hard football fan who drools over every single game. Like, all fucking football fans are my piss. So... With no brain cells, and they just go around chanting random shit that doesn't make sense. All of that, and, and drinking beer, and yeah. I mean, Dan's not exactly wrong there. Like, these days, the footballers play football because it gives them money in their pocket. Back in the old days, football was played by folk because they loved the game. <laughs> no. I don't even watch it, I just keep up with what's going on. I mean, that's part of the reason why I just gave up watching football a few years ago anyway. It's just because I just, I just couldn't be fucking arsed watching the games anymore because they were just so fucking boring. Who did you, just, I'd much who did you just support? Fucking go out. I'd much rather just fucking go out there and fucking actually play it. And as for... Uh, no comment. Hey, I've got loads of football kits from various different teams. I don't... That, yeah, that, yeah. No, no, on a, on, no, on a, on a serious note, no, the, the, what, what I do do is, is, like, if I see a very, like, nice looking Dan, you're struggling. Kit, I'll fucking buy it. Like, I've got quite a few Barcelona kits from some of their nicer kits. I think I've got a Real Madrid one somewhere in my room as well. That's what she said. Pretty sure that when Man City won their first Premier League title back in like 2011, I also went out of my way and bought fucking bought a Man City shirt just to piss off all the fucking Man United fans in my fucking town. Because <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there's a lot of Man U fans in Peterhead, so there's a lot of Man U fans in Scotland. No, to be fair. Well, there is. No, it wasn't. I mean, that's not a plus I was expecting to make a move, but sure. I thought you were going to say, have United fans. I was like, are you on drugs? I'll let, uh, tell Xbox to record that. Just won't tell get Xbox fucking done. Me a blowjob. Imagine if imagine if I had the facilities for that. I'd be kind of mad. Yes. 
Yeah, Dan, see the first right going in that little chicane bit. I'd say one of the worst uh, disgusting. That's where Darren ran wide. And then he just kind of died. Man City. They upgraded their stadium a few years ago, and now they can't even fucking get Listen. it half filled before right. COVID. Listen to this. This is the 2019 season, so this is the last season that had no COVID effect, like 2018-19 season. So, yeah. Um, Man United have 76,000 people in their stadium, right? And our attendance rating for that year was, I think it was 98 or 97%. So we were filling in about 74,000 per game. No matter what game, FA Cup, Champions League, people were getting in the stadium. Man City, now bear in mind this would have had the full away area filled up, right? We're getting 55% out of 55,000 people. Was this or 60, like after people. they upgraded their yes. stadium capacity? Yes, Etihad Stadium. Okay. They were getting 55% of people in their stadium. Their stadium is smaller wow. than Old Trafford. So because their stadium is smaller than Old Trafford, theoretically they should be getting a higher fill percentage because mm -hmm. it will be easier to fill up the stadium. Mm -hmm. But all the fans rather don't have enough money or they don't have any fans. Probably the f both of them to be fair, they're all scum. True, Man City do have like the most deep. But mm. motorsports better than football. I, I would genuinely like to know why Joe hasn't pitted yet, considering that he's done two mediums since so far. Same. Because he's ba he's basically he's, he's going to have literally no time to recover any time when he puts the softs on at this rate. Worst clubs in football are probably Man City, Millwall, and. Mm. I'd also say Chelsea because like a lot of their fans have this issue called racist. <laughs> that explains a lot. That is actually a good point. If you want the worst fans in terms of hooligans, I was just about to say Italian. Oh, Polish, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Argentina. Argentina and that. <laughs> Arg Argentinian. Barber. Argentinian. Ducky, Ducky, mate. Obviously fucking, obviously fucking uh, Russian are going to be bad. <laughs> because in Russia it's illegal to be a homosexual. Like in Russia it is illegal to be a homosexual. Mm -hmm. That's why I want to move there. <laughs> oh my god. No, they yeah, always it's like been illegal to be gay in Russia for like the best part of what, 30, 40 years or something like that? It'll be illegal to be gay even just in a casual relationship. Because well, in, uh, in some countries, it's, in some yeah. countries um, gay marriage is illegal, but you can still be in just a general relationship but in Russia you could be arrested if you're spotted being gay. Not even just gay marriage. Yeah you know what's really bad though is people in Russia if they do see gay people in the street they literally fucking jump all over them and fucking beat the crap out of them. Mm. Nice. Yeah in it moves simple Kazakhstan. World Cup. Cause yeah, cause like, like yeah, you do get, yeah, like you do, you do get gay athletes in the Olympics, and that's part of the reason why you also get so many footballers that are so scared to come out or as like being gay and all that. They got Vardy for a kick and then the flag. Yeah, but like, but like, it, 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 yeah. Yeah, but then fucking FIFA should have done the same for the World Cups then, you know? What, did they actually allow people to be gay in Russia during the World Cup as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I was just being the, like the people were actually competing in the tournament. I don't think, is Joe pitted? Yeah. 
Yeah, he's pitted now, yeah. He's on softs. Well, that's kind of stupid, regardless. Oh, he's, gonna, so he's, he's gonna beat he's my fast, really regardless. He's not near me at the moment, mate. He's nowhere near me at the moment. Uh, wasn't that the UK versus Russia in some sort of match? I can't remember where the match was held. Was it in London that the match there was, was held? There was a war. somewhere in Russia. Ecuador, it was like just below Mexico. Ecuador and someone else. It was because of, um, they were next to each other. They, I've watched a video on it. It was because of uh, refugees were moving from one country to another. And then the other country were having arguments and stuff, and then it just became in the news a massive feud. And then the, and then the World Cup happened, and when they came against each other in the qualifiers, just a bunch of like civilian warfare started happening outside players' hotels. Yeah. Is that the part? No, but the thing is, so you'd get some British fans that would then literally make fake registration plates like the one from that episode of Top Gear. Yeah, no, I know, I know, but like the thing, the thing also with sports, like UK sports fans, is is that when they like go out of their way to piss off rival fans, they don't half fucking do it with a touch of overkill. I am the king of overkill, and even I would find that overkill. <laughs> well, you you can occasionally get Brazilian Formula One fans that are a bit um, on the nutty side. Ooh, I wouldn't be too sure about that because I remember the 08 Brazil fight finale. Uh, like one of the one of the I what one of the ITV commentators. I'm, I shit you not. Like he went, uh, he was like standing on the safer side of the metal fence in front of the the main grandstand at, on the start finish straight, and he basically started waving the Union Jack about, and then he got so much booze. And like so many folk were actually starting to throw fucking empty beer cans and bottles and shit at him, even though obviously the fence was there to save him, but yeah. No, no, this was before the start of the race though, mate. This was before the race started. Working for ITV, I may add. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that there was one point where these Brazilian gangsters actually tried to like hi like well, I, I say hijack. I, I I think it was like it was, it, I think it was more of um, they tried to. Yeah, I, I I think it was more they tried to uh, carjack Hamilton's like convoy or something on his way to the circuit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, you are an idiot. Hmm. It was turning in on my left rear, which meant that my car just would not fucking turn there. No, what happened to you, Ducky? Did you... Uh... Oh.